Hi, it's for Charlie. So I'm at the Emirates Stadium ahead of Arsenal's EFL Cup semi-final second leg clash with London rivals Chelsea. Teams are out. They're actually out behind me, if you can see the warming up. So quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of bright lights, so you might not be able to see them. But the big news from a Chelsea viewpoint is that Thibaut Courtois hasn't recovered from his ankle injury in time to feature today. So, Willy Caballero gets his third straight start for Chelsea. Remember against Brighton, like he made that really good save um, to deny Hemed from close range, but he did nearly give away a penalty. I think overall he's been pretty solid, but this is a big, big test for him. Um, I'm sure if Courtois had been fit, he would have played. Um, it's a 3 4 3 formation from Antonio Conte today. The other big news is that Alvaro Morata, of course, he's out injured with a back injury. Um, he's being replaced by Eden Hazard, who's playing the false number nine position, as it were. It's a bit of a shame for Mishi Bakshuayi because he did well against Brighton. I remember he uh, linked up really well in a build up to Willian's goal, Chelsea's second um, against Brighton. And of course, he scored against Norwich in the FA Cup third round replay win last week. I think it's a bit of a shame that he um, isn't getting the chance to play, but Conte kind of made it clear that if they get Dzeko in, um, he's going to be leaving, so maybe that's um, uh, playing on his mind. But yeah, Hazard's up front, William Pedro on the flanks. Um, no Ross Barkley for his uh, Chelsea debut. It may, may well be that he comes on for a few minutes, but uh, Bakayoko and Kanter in midfield. Moses and uh, Alonso, your wing-backs, and uh, yeah, Cushington, who's back, um, after suffering a bit of a head injury against Brighton. As for Liquetta and Rudiger, um, it's set to be uh, an interesting game. Remember, someone has to win. Um, so I'll be back at half time to see um, if anyone has managed to take the lead. Right, guys, so it is 1 1 at the half time break. What a start we had to the game. We had two goals within a space of just 12 minutes. The hazard, we are caught, took just three minutes off his going against Brighton. He scored within just seven minutes here. Really sloppy defending um, from Arsenal, but they got themselves back in the game in the 12th minute. Um, it was a really fortunate goal for Arsenal, but they won't care. Um, Montreal's header, which um, hit Alonso's head and then it hit Rudiger's head and went flying past Caballero for an arm goal. It was a really fortunate goal, but um, it, it was, you know, it was a goal that Wenger was really happy to see. Um, after that goal, it's been. Um, the pace of the game has slowed down. William got an injury and it meant that Barkley has made his Chelsea debut. Um, it's been quite interesting for him because um, he's already been swiped out by Jack Wilshire. Um, he's given away a free kick. So this is his first game this whole season. Let's see how he does. And Moby playing, who started off on the left wing, is now playing on the right. Let's see how he gets on and let's see who can win this uh, EFL Cup semi-final game. So, Arsenal are through to the EFL Cup final where they'll play Manchester City after they found the winner in the second half. So remember, it was 1-1 at the break, but it was Granit Xhaka who found um, the winner and took um, Arsenal into a 2-1 lead in the 60th minute. You know, like Arsenal's first goal, there was a bit of, uh, there was a slight of luck in Arsenal's goal because Lacazette, um, he sent the ball back um, and it took a it took a deflection, I think, off Rudiger. So it really was a Rudiger's day today, you know. He obviously inadvertently played a role in Arsenal's opener. Um, and, um, yeah, deflected into the path of Xhaka, who finished off coolly in front of goal. Um, and um, credit to Arsene Wenger, because in the second half, he actually switched from a four-man defence that he started in the first half to a three-man defence. And then he, he, then he put on defensive reinforcement towards the ending. So credit to him for kind of managing... Um, you know, managing the, at the back and, and really managing the, the game as it, as it went on. Um, Chelsea, I felt, lacked the creativity. You know, without someone like Fabregas in the side, Conte really didn't have that many options. He did bring on Batshuayi, but really he couldn't affect the game. And um, in the end, you know, uh, they couldn't find um, the goal that they needed really to, to keep themselves in the game. Um, as for Ross Barkley, just how he did on his debut, um, he had a bit of a mixed game. So, you know, he, he pretty much played the rest of the game on the right, then he was, you know, kind of drifting into the middle. It's a bit tough for him because it is his first game this entire season to come on and have to play against Arsenal was always going to be uh, tough. Um, but, you know, let's see how he does. Um, you know, I think he'll play against Newcastle in the FA Cup fourth round. This is a bit of disappointment for Chelsea. Um, but they're still in the Champions League, still in the FA Cup. Um, obviously, Arsenal aren't in the FA Cup. Credit to Arsenal, though, for stepping up without Alexis Sanchez 
they looked really good today as they did against Palace. So uh, is this the new Arsenal um, without Sanchez? Well, let's see. I'm sure Arsenal fans will be hoping it is.